Hello everyone, me again. The last video I made, I talked about how we could upgrade an Ubuntu system from one LTS release to the next using uh, the update manager. Uh, I followed a tutorial, uh, this one here, uh, that steps you through how to upgrade uh, your system. Uh, if you want to know more, then go back. It's this video here, upgrading 1804 to Focal 2004. Now again, standard caveat applies. Don't use Ubuntu 2004 on a production system because right now it's the beginning of April. It's uh, April the 1st, not even kidding. And uh, the 2004 release of Ubuntu doesn't come out until the end of April, uh, not until here, the 23rd of April, Thursday the 23rd. So don't install 2004. But if you're like me and you like trying out new things, then maybe you do want to try out 2004. And in the last video, I talked about how you could upgrade using Update Manager. This time I want to show you something I mentioned in the previous video, but I actually want to show you how to do it. And that is to upgrade using the command line instead of using the GUI. Now, last time uh, we went through this tutorial, and there are lots of tutorials in here, including the one that we just looked at, which was uh, how to upgrade using Update Manager. But I don't believe there is a tutorial for do release upgrade. Have a look, let's do a search. So there's the man page, but I don't think there's, uh, there's various other guides which you could look at. But there isn't a, specifically a tutorial. And the reason why I mentioned that there isn't a tutorial is you could write a tutorial. So if you're uh, interested in improving the tutorials that we have on this website there is a guide telling you how to write a tutorial it's pretty straightforward it's all done in markdown and they live in the Ubuntu discourse instance over here in the tutorials category and so each of these tutorials in here maps to a tutorial on the website so maybe you want to write a tutorial once you've seen me muddle through do release upgrade on this laptop now you'll notice, maybe you'll notice, maybe you won't, but uh, this is my trusty ThinkPad X220, which is back on 1804. But you're thinking, Alan, you upgraded that to 2004 just a couple of days ago. Yes, I did. But before I did the upgrade, I used Clonezilla to take a snapshot of the system. So this is the snapshot I took a couple of days ago prior to the upgrade to 2004. And after I did the upgrade, I also took a snapshot. So this is the snapshot I took after the upgrade. So I've got snapshots upon snapshots upon snapshots. So all I did was revert back to this one using Clonezilla. I just restored over the top. So I'm back on 1804, exactly what it uh, looked like before I did the upgrade. And uh, what I'm going to do is just check for updates to see if there's any... Oh, no, that's not what I want to do at all. I want to go to Update Manager. Uh, let's go to update manager to see if there's any updates. I think there is. So I'm just going to do my software updates and then we'll start the upgrade to 2004 on the command line. So I'm just going to install all my software updates. There we go. And while that's running in the background, I want to talk about uh, do release upgrade. Um, so I mentioned there's no tutorial, but uh, we did a search and we do a search for do release upgrade. It does find a man page uh, and these man pages are just a, a nice, pretty way of showing you the equivalent of man do release upgrade. The same as that, but just in a web browser. So you could look at it on the command line if you want to. I'm just showing it here because it looks prettier in a web browser. And the reason why you might want to use do release upgrade uh, is to upgrade from one release of Ubuntu to the next uh, or from the LTS to the next LTS. And the key benefit of using do release upgrade is you can do it remotely or if your system doesn't have a GUI. So this system clearly does have a GUI because I'm using it right now, but I want to show you what it looks like if you if you didn't have a graphical user interface. Um, or maybe you want to upgrade a remote system. Maybe it's a server in the cloud, or maybe it's a, a desktop system 
with a graphical user interface, but you're not sat at that machine. Maybe it's at a remote location and you're unable to leave your house at this time, in which case you could uh, organize some SSH connection to that machine. That's out of the scope of this video. Uh, but you could organize an SSH connection to that machine and then do the upgrade uh, in a terminal. And so that's what I'm going to show you is doing the upgrade in a terminal. And those are the two main use cases. Um, doing a non-graphical system or a remote system. And so that's what this talks about. It's really basic. It just says run do release upgrade. There's a few options. And interestingly, um, it's the same minus D option that we used with Update Manager in the previous video. But I also discovered something I've never seen before. Minus M, run in a special upgrade mode. Currently, desktop for regular upgrades of desktop system and server for server systems are supported. So you can specify do release upgrade minus D to jump from 18.04 to 20.04 that isn't out yet. So that's a devel release minus M desktop. And I thought, what does that do? Why is why is that there? So I did a bit of a internet search because I didn't know what that did. Uh, and I stumbled upon this Ask Ubuntu question where someone is asking about, ah, this is updates being installed and it's asking me to put grub on my system. Um, I'm going to just hit next. Continue without, yeah. Just, there we go, carry on. Um, and I found this interesting question, and the reason why I found this interesting is because down here it talks about um, the mode. Um, the man page is not very helpful. Using minus M, blah, 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 blah. But the thing that I thought was interesting that I wanted to highlight is that it talks about this bit here, dist upgrade quirks. And I mentioned in a vague way in my previous video that we recommend using Update Manager or Do Release Upgrade because they have additional things that protect the user when they upgrade. And this is a perfect example of that. I'm not going to go into the, the details of this. It's covered in this bug report, which you'll find over here on Launchpad. Um, and it talks about how at some point in the past, we're talking back in 2011 here, it was discovered that when you do an upgrade, it doesn't quite work the way you expect and there are packages missing. And the developers had a conversation in here and they figured out what to do and what they did, one of the things they did, was they add a quirk into the upgrade tool, the, the upgrade tool that takes you from one release to the next. And so this was an example of how these quirks can be added in to work around certain situations that the user might come from on their existing system and it might take them on the new upgraded system to a place where their system doesn't work. And that's obviously not a good place. You want to take them from a working system to a new working system on the new release. And so that's why when I said update manager has these additional things in it this is the kind of thing i'm talking about is there are additional quirks in the code to cater for certain circumstances on the source release to take you to a successful target release i just wanted to mention that because uh we might um we might specify this minus m option because we're a desktop okay so my updates have been installed so i'm just going to restart the system and then once i've restarted we will uh, do the do release upgrade okay via the power of video editing we've now rebooted uh just a short while later and it should be that if i run update manager again should have no updates to install browser while that's running Chug, 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 chug. Okay. The software in a computer is up to date. Okay, good. So I'm up to date, but what I want to do is use do release upgrade. So the way we do this is imagine we are now sat at a, like we could make this look more and more like a, you're sat at a terminal and there's no graphical user interface. I could switch to a TTY, but it looks a bit awful when recorded, so I'm going to do it here. So if I just do sudo do release 
upgrade and I'll do minus D because I want to jump to the development release minus M desktop let's see what happens okay so it goes looking for a new release to see if there is a new release and you can see there it's monkeying around with some files and checking that we're up to date more checks more checks so it does a whole load of pre-flight checks that wouldn't be done if you just ninja edited your sources list and then tried to dist upgrade to the next release so this does a whole load of checks and balances to make sure it's all okay so now it's it has edited my sources dot list and it's doing the apt update and it's going to calculate uh, what packages are going to be upgraded as part of the move from 1804 to 2004 might take a little while this calculating changes really depends on how many packages you had install and um, the power of your laptop and so pretty much the same output I got in as I got in the uh, graphical environment just make it a tiny bit bigger uh, 57 no longer supported 16 removed 300 uh, new packages are going to be installed and then a whole bunch are going to be upgraded should take five minutes lies uh, it can take several hours do you want to continue now if you press D for details you'll see the the, inf the detail about all those packages I'm not going to do that I'm just going to chug on with the um, the upgrade and again you'll notice it disables the lock screen because it's a desktop I think if we did server mode I don't think it would do that Okay, your lock screen has been disabled and will remain disabled until you reboot. Continue, press enter. Okay. So this is it. It's now going to start doing all the download of packages. So these are all the packages that are going to get replaced or upgraded um, or installed. And then once it's downloaded those hundreds of packages, it'll start doing the upgrade. So I will invoke the fast forward method of video editing and I'll see you on the other side of this. Okay, looks like the upgrade is finished and now it wants to remove the old packages that are no longer required. So I'm just gonna hit yes. It will start removing all of these packages that are either superseded by something newer or just not needed by any of the newer software that's in the newer release of Ubuntu. That's it, done. So I should be able to hit yes and it will restart the system and I'll be on 2004 with any luck. There we go. So I'm just gonna log in on the other display and you should find my desktop appears. There we go. So now I should be able to open system settings and wasn't already obvious by the wallpaper. Uh, notice that we're on local FOSA. So that was pretty straightforward. You can upgrade using the graphical method that I showed in the previous video, or you can use the command line. Uh, those are the two main supported ways of upgrading there are other ways i know some people have their own special ways of upgrading systems but those are the two main ways hope that was useful see you again next time